Hi, I'm Marco Panizza. I'm a Vicor application engineer and I'm here at the electronic exhibition in 2014 and I'd like to give you some introduction to our source to point of load concept. That's the way Vicor wants to go delivering a complete solution for all the power architecture. In this demo here, we want really to demonstrate this concept. What you see here looks like an empty case and what's the meaning of having an empty case? Because an empty case can be filled with really valuable electronics and the power supply basically doesn't get in its way. Because what you see here is a rear panel which can be really populated with a lot of electronics and the power supply appears only with those two parts which are our front end, our real power processing units that uh, manipulate the input source that takes the power source and convert down to the useful voltage that you need. Here, for example, you see an AC input, which is called the PFM, is a power factor corrected front end that accepts a universal AC input and delivers an isolated 48 volt with a power rating of 400 watt. <coughs> and here is another um, application, which is uh, quite novel in, in the power electronic industry, uh, the high voltage DC distribution becomes more and more popular. This uh, component here accepts a 380 volt DC input and steps it down to a 48 volt with, again, safety isolation. So once you have your 48 volt, here you go, you can hook up any type of product that you want. Obviously, we left the cabinet empty and all the products that can be hooked up are just shown on this desk. The 48 volt comes out and powers, for example, a combination of a PRM and VTM. The PRM and VTM combination is meant to supply quite a large amount of power, about, uh, about 300, 400 watt, with a so-called factorized power architecture. Factorized power means that you divide the fundamental building blocks of a power supply into two. One is the regulation block that works on a small difference between input and output except a variable 48 volt and regulates an intermediate 48 volt which we call the factorized bus. And then from the factorized bus we can step it down to any voltage we want even from 48 down to 1 volt in one single step through the VTM, which is the voltage transformation module. The good thing is that those two parts are optimized to do one function. One is the regulation, one is the stepping down, and being optimized like that, they operate at very high efficiency. A VTM can easily operate at 98% efficiency, and the VTM works around about 97%. So when you combine the two parts, you still have a full conversion chain with very high efficiency. <clears throat> this is the end voltage that you need, this, in this case is 48 to 15 volt, and then you can use the 15 volt as you want. But another interesting approach to convert the power is these other conduits here that comes to a demonstration board, which is an Intel processor board based on the standard VR12.5. The VR12.5 requires a supply voltage for the, for the Pentium processor, for the Intel processor, which is in the range of 0.8 up to 1.2 volt with currents up to 100 amps. And again, it comes the problem of how to convert a 48 volt effectively down to 1 volt and still deliver this large amount of current. And here again, we have a combination of a PRM and VTM. You see the PRM hidden here, which is a system in package PRM. It's a smaller size PRM that feeds a VTM, which is this one hidden here, and the VTM is the real voltage transformation module that operates at high efficiency and step from 48 volt down to 1 volt directly into the, the core logic of the processor. <clears throat> and again, this type of approach beats the normal, the standard VRM solution which are on the market. The other advantage is that it operates directly from a 48 volt. It gets rid of the 12 volt coming from the silver box. Having a 48 volt means that you have four times more voltage than a 12 volt, which looks like, you, uh, obviously, but four times more voltage means four times less current, and four times less current means 
16 times less power losses over your distribution cable. So associating that, associating the high efficiency of the VR12 solution delivered by Vicor, you come to a very high efficiency, <clears throat> and if you multiply this board to the thousands of boards that you have in a server farm, for example, you end up having a consistent saving in energy, so your total cost of ownership uh, drastically reduced. Over two years' exercise, you really see that the cost of the electricity that you pay are drastically reduced just by having increased the efficiency in the conversion stage and having reduced the power conduction losses on, on the cable itself. <coughs> Moving on, um, another way to convert power is again from the high voltage down to a useful voltage and what we see here on the back it's what we call the DCM which means a double clamp module is a special topology which Vicor patent uh, it's a complete DC DC converter that accepts a high voltage DC input so you supposed to have the DC input uh, fed through coming in here and stepping down to 24 volt this is a fully isolated regulated uh, DC to DC converter and again from this 24 volt you can feed any load that you want this example for example can be seen as a 12 volt output and that can be useful in an electric car where you have a high voltage source from your main battery and you need to step it down to 12 volt just to power up your uh, normal loads in the car like the audio system like the navigation system in this specific case we have a 24 volt and a 24 volt is a very well suitable voltage to supply point of load converters like here we have a 24 volt that fades this uh, devaluation board which is the cool power zvs bar this is a real point of load converter it gets this works on a 24 volt input and can step down to a sub volt out of voltage from 1 volt up to 15 volt in different power numbers uh, with a current rating of 8 up to 15 amps. 15 amps on the low voltage up to 10 amps on the other voltages. And, and again, this is really meant as a point of load supply, which is placed on the board <coughs> very close to your load, to your digital electronic, to your embedded processor, whatever you need to supply. And the latest introduction from Vicor is this other board here, which is again a fixed ratio converter. It's meant as a DC transformer that takes an input voltage and transform to an output voltage. In this case, it's a transformation from 48 volt to 12 volt. This 48 to 12 is becoming very popular in the automotive market. Now the cars um, are developed and, and thought to be designed with a dual supply voltage in, on board. One is the 48 volt for the large power system, for the regenerative braking, for the air conditioning, for a turbocharger which is electrified, and one is the usual 12 volt as I mentioned before. Now it happens that the requirement in the automotive industry is that these two worlds, 12 volt and 48 volt, needs to communicate. So the power, the power converter in between needs to be bidirectional. And that's exactly what this uh, component does because being based on a transformer concept, it can easily work in one direction as well as in the opposite direction. So it fits very well for this type of new <coughs> automotive application for the car industry. So that's uh, pretty much it. As you see, the real advantage is that when it comes to the input source, the input source can really be handled by a very small and compact front end <coughs> that leaves you all the space available for your electronics. You don't need to worry about the size of the power supply. You don't need to worry about the cooling. Obviously, this special package is also part of the, of the business. Um, the components that we develop are born in this type of format, which is what we call the chip, the converter housed in package, which allows for us uh, an optimized production cycle with um, less material waste and of course high component density. All the components are placed on a PC board. The PC board is a large panel which is completely over molded and then is singulated like you would do with a silicon wafer when you, extra when you singulate the single dies. And then once you, do, once you do this process, 
all the contacts appear on the edge of the PC board in terms of copper layers. And here is where we do the physical pin attachment. So all the surface here is dedicated to the power component. And this package happens to be completely symmetrical. You have power components on this side, you have the same amount of power components on the other side, you have the ferrite, the main transformer, surfacing on this side and surfacing on this other side. So this is very well suitable for a p-dimensional cooling. You can contact with a metallic plate on the top as well as on the bottom. So you gain, you basically double what we call the thermal density. Now for some people, this might be a bit awesome because once you deal with a printed circuit board, you have to cut an opening in it. You have to have some special working. And, and we understood that, so we, we offer still this concept, but the evolution will be to offer those components into this type of package, which we call the VI adapter, the Vicor adapter package, which includes those type of chip inside, plus the surrounding filter that is somehow necessary. Here, for example, is a power factor correction module, which comes in this type of format, in this chip format, and you see there is enough space here to implement the EMI filter. And, and the advantage is that you have a completely encased metallic package, which contact both the top and bottom surface of the chip. And then it's very easy to mount this on a, on a chassis and having the optimized cooling system, like we did in inside this cabinet. So all the components that Vicor develop and produce will be also encapsulated into this VI adapter package, which allows all those advantages. And we expect to have a number of those components coming in the, in the, next, uh, in the next months or so. Thank you very much and hope you find it interesting.